843, and you're going to be right down there, right? Con Convention West. Yes. Taryn Waugh is here, the savory chef. Very, very excited to have you here. If you could only smell Thank the dim you. sum vibe that is going on in here. It's a dim, thum dim, dim sum thing. Uh, <laughs> yes. And you're showing us how to make it accessible yeah. and make it at home. Yeah, what do we so have going on? If you don't feel like here? going out, you can, you know, make some dishes at home. I'm doing a version of, you know, the steam black bean spare ribs. Mm -hmm. So I'm doing a little bit of a braised version because, you know, it looks a little bit nicer. It's something different and it's very easy to do. So I have some um, short, uh, or sorry, pork spare ribs. They're cut short about one inch and they're just browning off here So we're gonna just pretend like we're getting them all nice and golden brown, right? Can't be afraid to let it yeah. get in there and, and really cook up a little and then I'm gonna add some ginger garlic and shallots and normally I'd stir this around and Get them all nice and fragrant. Yes. Um, but we're going to skip that and add in our braising liquid. So I have uh, dark soy sauce, Chinese cooking wine, some black bean sauce, water, and a bit of chili oil. Now I kept the chili oil in this recipe pretty light. Uh, if you don't like spicy, but I like it spicy, so normally you can kick it up. Kick it up. Like. I'm a spicy yeah. girl, just like you. So, so that's Cover. it. Cover. Let it braise on very low heat for about 20 minutes. Low and slow for. 20. Mm -hmm. How yeah. easy is that? So easy. So next I'm totally we're doing that. <laughs> now, if I want those spare ribs cut short, I can just get that done at the butcher, uh, the right? Butcher, yeah. Little just baby back ribs like, or whatever. And like the um, dry rib size. And gotcha. then they know what you're talking about. We are making dumplings. Yes. Okay. My favorite. Put me to work So here. they are chicken and shiitake mushrooms. So I'm going to get you to start okay. mixing that up. Can I just use my hands? Yeah, of course. Because I'm just not a when it comes to this. Well, there you go. Yeah. And then we're going to add ginger, garlic, and shallots in here. Aromatics are awesome. So yes. shiitake mushrooms, fresh? Yes. I used fresh. You can definitely use dry. Right. And we just chopped them up really, really fine just so that they cook um, gotcha. along with the chicken. I have some soy sauce, some Chinese cooking wine. That's a secret ingredient, yes. isn't it, Tara, the yep. Chinese cooking wine? Uh, some sesame oil. Also and then important. in here, sugar, salt, pepper. So you notice I have sugar in both of the dishes, even though they're savory. Now with Chinese and a lot of Asian cooking, it's all about balance. Right. So when you have the salt, you want to balance it out with some sweet. So you are um, at the uh, Vancouver Home and Design Show. Yes, this Saturday, Saturday. five o'clock mm -hmm. on stage where? The Vancouver Magazine cooking stage. Okay, put me to work here. All right, so we're gonna assemble the dumplings. You oh, start I've us got off. Her. Gotta do the rinse. Here we go. And a towel here. Thank you. Okay, so, so prepared. we're gonna start off with an easy fold. Thank you. Thank there you. you go. So I have some packaged dumpling wrappers. Uh, you can make the wrapper yourself, but a little much there. you can buy it. It's a lot easier. And if you're just starting, yeah, don't put too much. Okay. Uh, and then, so you put your little bit of filling there, about a tablespoon or a bit less. Dip your finger in some water. Okay. And then, so the beginner fold would just be a simple half moon. Oh, the half moon. Yeah. <gasps> this would be fun to do with yes. the kids. This is how I started off doing them with my mom. Okay. We just sat, sat around the kitchen table. Um, if you want to make it a little bit more interesting, you can fold it kind of like a little tortellini. Oh, pretty. Taryn. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to move I'm up. do this. We're going to move up to something a little bit more advanced. That's okay. <laughs> something a little bit go. more advanced because I'm doing so well. Yes. <laughs> uh, so again, same amount of filling. Okay. In the middle or off to the side? Uh, off just to the off side to the side. Okay. Yeah. A little bit of water. So I'm going to teach you how to do the pleated fold. Okay. So take the side with the filling away from you. Okay. Fold it over, fold but it don't over. press it down. Okay. And then, so you need to hold it with your left hand or opposite if you're left-handed. Okay. And then just fold it over like that and pinch it with your thumb. Oh, yeah. I and feel then like just an move. Artist. There you go. Like nurse, just a little pinch and fold. It's not going to look as good as yours, but I'm going to do my best That's here. Okay. You know what? Honestly, it takes me about ten of these until they look decent. You're just <laughs> making me feel better. Dim something. Mm -hmm. Get out and enjoy it. Try it at home. This is so it's easy. easy to make. So we're just buying these at the store. Where do we get the uh, uh, special ingredient wine? You can get everything wine? at TNT. Everything at yeah, TNT Market. Yeah, it's so easy. So mm -hmm. fun to go into TNT. Just try things. Yeah. Just put it down. And we're steaming these. Yes, you steam them for about eight to ten minutes. And uh, I have Bring some me ribs. Food that are already done here. So after um, they've been cooking for 20 minutes, you take off the lid, crank up the heat, and get all that liquid reduced, and that becomes your lovely little sauce. Fantastic. And we've got a couple of dumplings put out. We do. 
Let me help with that. Here. I'll just move it over. Awesome. So these steamer, uh, like steamer baskets, easy you, to get. Any just type put it on of top of your. You have. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go in on a taste. You ready? And then I have a dipping Oops. sauce here. And a little bit stuck terran. Wow. Uh -oh. Thank you. Look at the chili. Look at the delicious mm -hmm. uh, soy. What, what else is in here? A little bit of vinegar. Yes, vinegar and chili oil and um, some sugar. I'm in heaven right now. Cheers to you. Enjoy. Thank you. Saturday, Vancouver Home and Design Show. Make sure you get there. Follow the Savory Chef on Twitter. Uh, my mouth is watering. I'm going to eat this. <laughs>